Okay, um, using the Taylor Service Complete Test Kit, um, I'm going to be testing the pH on the same pool that I've been testing stuff on. Um, basically, I'm going to fill this large vial to the line, to the top line. There's a couple different lines, but we want to um, we want to go to the top line. Yeah, so right about there. And this one's a pretty simple test. Um, let me just take the lid off of this. It's uh, it's the uh, pH indicator solution R0004. And basically drop five drops. Two, three, four, five. And we are going to determine the pH level or how acidic the water is. And uh, as you can see, it's a little bit high. It's probably about 8.0, which is kind of typical. You want it to be normally between 7.2 and 7.6 is what I recommend. Um, the more acidic the water is, the, the lower the pH is. And the higher the pH, the less acidic the water is. So when it's high, you have to add acid to bring the level down to where it needs to be, okay? As opposed to the chlorine, where if that's high, then that means you have too much chlorine. So um, you just gotta think about it a little bit. But when your pH level is high, your acidity is low, and then you have to add acid to the pool. And uh, when you add acid to the pool, uh, I recommend using a liquid acid, not the powdered acid, because what we want to do is we want to lower the pH and the alkalinity together. And also you want to make sure the acid that you buy, the liquid acid that you buy, um, is a higher quality of acid. Like if you buy your acid at Home Depot, or Walmart, you're going to get acid that's 14% hydrochloric acid. And uh, if you buy your acid at a pool supply store, you're going to have uh, an, an acid that's 32% hydrochloric acid. So it's actually going to be a, quite a bit more potent. So anyway, it's just some good information to have. And uh, when you're done, rinse your vials out. Um, there is also an acid demand test that you can do. Um, you have to know the gallons of your pool to do that. Um, and your test kit will come with a book that's going to um, give you, the, give you the, um, the information that you need to figure out. Um, well, if you have so many gallons, say you have 20,000 gallons, you know, and you have two, two drops, you got to do... Um, whenever you're doing an acid demand test, you have a, um, a reagent that you drop in there. It says acid demand reagent 0005. You drop it in there one drop at a time until the color turns uh, to the color you want. Say so you want it to be 7.2. So you count the drops and then you go by the chart and it'll tell you what um, how many how many actually gallons or how many ounces of acid you'd need to bring that to where it needs to be so anyway that is the acid test I guess thanks for watching